guys and welcome to a new episode of Hunter and Trend. Welcome to War Power Made Easy, session number 45. Now let's get this started with. And yeah, let me get started with this again. Let's start off with compliance. Now, this is a really interesting word too. Compliance is not the actual word that we're going to talk about, but obsequious. Obsequious basically means compliance. And the thing about this is that it comes from the root sequar, which you might actually remember, which you might actually sound familiar. It basically means to follow, and it's the words that also create the words sequence and a sequel, also as, as well as subsequent. Next up, we're going to have to talk about complaints. Querulous. Now, querulous basically means you're like complaining and you're like having a lot of complaints. And the act of having a lot to complain about is querulous. And so, of course, our root will be quiver. Next up, we have snobbery, which is supercilious. Supercilious actually comes from the root cilium, and it basically means eyelids. Cilium basically means eyelids. So no one knows. Uh, no one. No one. Yeah. To be honest, I'm not sure why the cochlea, the hairs of the cochlea are called cilia because cilium, cilia, they, they sound pretty similar, so I'm pretty sure. Why is not that both in the eyes? Typically, we have something similar to cilia in the eyes, just not as sensitive as cilia and not based on movement, like, like, uh, movement of cilia it's just like the movement of the light and what light is acting on it basically this is what happens we have like rods and cones in our eyes and that's what we get instead of cilia unfortunately Aww. next up we have to talk about noise and this is obstreperous. Obstreperous basically means strepo. And this is all really good too. Like noise. You make a lot of noise. Strepo basically means to make a lot of noise. Obstreperous basically means like like a lot of noise. Like a bunch and a bunch and a bunch enough noise already. If a person is obstreperous then and you hate it, then you gotta tell the person that you hate it. Or else they'll be all like, yay. You know what? Nah. Next up, we have moneyless. Now, moneyless basically means impecunious. Impecunious basically means picus, which is like cattle. And also, the word's also the word that actually derives the word pecuniary. Now, actually, that kind of, actually kind of makes sense. Impecunious, like talking about money, that you're like, no, have no money because like pecus basically means cattle. It might not make sense right now how a cattle er, makes like determines your money, but in the ancient days, it kind of made sense because like back then, your wealth was them was based on how much cattle you had because that's where the real money comes from the meat and the leather oh and uh, well that gives you actual stuff that you can eat and make stuff into uh, the stock market just gives you headaches and makes you a bunch of things to memorize which is really really bad also if you're like warren buffett good then you're probably gonna make a lot of money out of the stock market Next up, we have to talk about horses. Now, horses, now, here's actually the thing. We're not actually going to be talking about horses. We're going to talk about people who act like horses. What? So, this is the olden days. Also, I actually had... Uh, the, the, like, in the olden days, knights were the people who only rode horses and the kings, of course. The other peasants and other uh, commoners just went ahead and walked. However, well, also, however, initially and traditionally also, I doubt that they actually did this actually, uh, knights are supposed to be chivalrous and they went to ha they would go ahead and sacrifice themselves for a lady or something, even it, and would self be self sacrificing if their interests collide with the, uh, the, uh, the valuable sexes, apparently, as the book calls it, interests. So they would go for that interest instead of their own interest too. Oh yeah. So the Calibus Cavalier, and yeah, it's also chivalrous, basically means there's something to do with horses, which is like cheval. Cheval basically is also the root that makes the words Calibus Cavalier, Cavalry, and Chivalry. Bam, 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 bam. All right, three more, okay, actually four more words here. The seventh word we're going to talk about is innocuous, which basically means no harm done. If you're innocuous, it basically means no harm is done. And you're like, hey, you're not injuring anyone, too. So in, it basically means no. And nocchio, 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 apparently, that's how you say it. basically means to injure someone. So we're going to talk about alcoholic. Alcoholic basically means bibulous. Bibulous basically means to, like, bibo. Like, it comes from the root bibo, and it basically means to drink. And uh, imbibe and bib are also from the root bibo. Next up, we have like death, it like itself. Like death itself. Huh? This is where we get the word cadavers. Cadavers is like cattle, and it basically means to fall. Next up, it's also cattle, the fall, basically also is the root that makes up the words cadaver and decadent. Last but not least, we have to talk about pain and misery. Dolorous. Dolorous basically it comes from the root dolio. Dolio is like dolor and doleful, and that basically means to suffer. And that's pretty much it. So hopefully you guys actually enjoyed this episode. And if you guys really did enjoy it, I hope to see you guys soon. And so until next time, shout out, peace, and bye-bye.